Is there a reason why uh, we don't have a revenue line for that? I mean, that... It gets credited you... to the bill. I'm sorry? To the expenditure. So it doesn't show up as a revenue line? Right, it gets credited just, to the expenditure. Just decreases the expenditure? Yeah. And I can give you that information. Okay, but... Uh, and then we, the tail on yeah, yeah, I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't we show grants in revenue? Would we receive a grant on something? Wouldn't that show up as a... As a revenue, <coughs> it isn't a grant, but it's it's an income. It's a credit. It's a credit. Okay, so these are credits they give us. All right. Uh, then, just to clarify this though, the uh, three point five million is that after we get the credits? That's an yes. estimate after we get yes. the credits. Okay. Two okay. Yes. All right. That's that's fine. That's fine. We may get two more. And we, we may not. Get. All right, that's that's we fine. May not. Yeah. So this is the estimate after the credits. After the credits. So if I read this correctly, we have a cap of three point eight, and we're looking at an expenditure of three point five. That tells me we're getting three hundred thousand dollars in credits. No, 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 no. Is it? Yes. <coughs> If you want, I'll go downstairs and get the printouts from the state. We'll get it for next week. They'll get it for next week. Okay. That's fine. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah, exactly. I've got another question then, Mr. Chairman. If, if this is a net figure, <coughs> which I believe we were just told, what happened What happened in 2007 when we didn't get stimulus money? Why is the figure? Um, well, it, it creeps up. Let's let's get over to one of these. It's um, almost up a million. Only up roughly 10% of the student. That was part of the memorandum of agreement that was reached at the state level. We have that information too. I can give you that next week. I want to say 2007 is about the time where they switched everything over. The yep. state took the juvenile. We took all of the elderly and adult services. <coughs> Okay, anybody have any other questions on human services? <clears throat> if not, we'll uh, go on to uh, maintenance. $6,000 bottom line over the last year. And, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. And we get 2% plus whatever goes on later. 2% on salaries. How many people is that? One. So that's one person? Correction. <coughs> Uh, that's four people, sir. It's broke up in four four different uh, salaries the way the farm. That's maintenance. Yes, but we break it up a certain percentage is paid out of the farm of their salary, a certain percentage is not maintenance, isn't it? No, it's all maintenance. Okay. So we're talking about just one person? Yes. Sure, it's one one person. Yes. 
then why do we put it at 5%? I think I'm exact. Yeah, but it's not the same. The other three finance are in the farm. That's good. All right. Check that figure. <coughs> we get the subcommittee. My notes are that it was three full time and one part time. So that was that was my list of what Will said and probably came from one. I can't imagine we're paying one person around this place the way we paid fifty thousand bucks for. Yeah, right. Good job. That'd be about five people. We'll have a better figure for you next week. Thank you. <coughs> The same thing happened in the farm. If you go over there, you got 70,000 this year. We got, I'm sorry, Commissioner, we, we spent 70, the last year's budget was 72, and we're now raising it to 74 for this year. So, <coughs> We'll come That's back with who is working in maintenance, who is working in the farm, and wherever else those three and a half people <coughs> are working. I, I can probably explain a little bit on the, um, because we have two full-time and one part-timer at the farm, and the part-timer, he only works when he's needed to work. Right. So, you know, if we paid 70000 as opposed to seventy two, so he perhaps had less hours, the part-timer, mm -hmm. because he only works when the weather's good and yeah. correct me, right, Well, yeah. So that's probably why that's under budget, yeah. or what it was budgeted, because he, you know, good weather. We'll have, we'll have details on yeah. where they work yeah. and what they did. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Um, I guess there's a, a bigger question I'd like to bring up here under maintenance. Um, first of all, I'm surprised <coughs> that we can't have a conversation of what maintenance is all about. Uh, how many people are there? That's surprising. Number two, um, I know that in past that uh, employees are co-mingled for maintenance and also from the farm department. But when I look at uh, the notes of uh, last last meeting and knowing something to do about maintenance and the cost of snow plowing, I'm surprised that we don't see snow plowing as, as a separate item because if I look at what the specifications are required to do that contract, it involves an awful lot of time, 24 hours a day. So I guess um, I would really like to hear more of what is in maintenance and why snow plowing isn't broken out as a separate item. Okay. Well, Thank you. <coughs> Are there items under maintenance? Questions? Comments? Yes. Mr. Chairman, I don't, I don't know that we can have much of a discussion at this point. We don't know what maintenance is. Okay. Defer that conversation to next meeting. Yeah. Yeah, I think then we're ready to uh, go on to sewer system. Requirement coming from the state? Yes, sir. They, they uh, regulate what we have to test. I suggest that you have them pay for it, and if they don't, don't do it. Say that again? I would suggest they either pay for it or you don't do it. What do you mean? Huh? Well, they're telling you you got to do something as an unfunded mandate over what they tell them to send a check. 
but don't do it. I mean, why you just just because they say to do it, you say okay. Well, we'll fight with them, would you? Please, Jim, say yes, no. Yes. Well, if we put that together, make sure we get that to uh, Representative Chandler, yeah. right? so we can change it at the state level. Yeah. Yes, they're doing okay. it. <clears throat> and also, uh, but I'm not aware, personally aware, of any <clears throat> increase in water testing requirements, oh, yeah. unless it's only here. Because last year we spent um, five thousand dollars in water testing, and I am personally not am not aware of any new requirements in water testing. And, um, but I will check it out. Okay, and uh, also if we can get a sense of what the liability may be if we don't invest, if there is such a thing. Anyway, that can be brought up next week. I, uh, Representative Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'd just like to add having some um, familiarity in the subject. Uh, testing is cyclatory. Some years you, you do very little other than that uh, natural uh, uh, monitoring uh, chloroform and so forth. Some years you have to do uh, radiologicals and things. So some some years I see I manage the second largest water system in town. I could see an increase in a thousand dollars in testing, but I've never seen uh, I've never seen it in my public water supply experience more than a thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, I, I, I think maybe Representative McConkey had a question, but my question really was. Could we have increased testing because we might have had some problems at all? We haven't had any problems. Well, we haven't had any problems. Um, as far as what's the cost of the testing, I'm just starting my second year with it. But if you look back in 09, it was 80, almost $8,500 in testing. So we based off of the numbers of what we've done in the past because we didn't want to be too short with it. Um, you know, it's, if they want to lower it and we're too short, I can't, I don't know the exact test off the top of my head. So I can't give you precise numbers off the top of my head. Representative McConkey. There is a master schedule done a year in advance that will tell them what testing they have to do. And I assume that we're using the state lab, which is what I use. So they should be able to nail that number down. That's, that's what the drinking water, sir? Yes. Yes, there is, but there, I don't. This uh, is sewer? This is sewer. So we have tests done up at, we take up water to North Conway's lab that does some, and then twice a year we have Eastern Analytical come do some also some testing outside. So the uh, match schedule, as far as I'm aware of, is the water department. Okay, I'm looking at it. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions on the sewer system budget? Will it remain 50 uh, 9, 901? Can we get more detail? Uh, unless, on we, yeah, unless we uh, decrease the testing line. Did anybody see any other lines that uh, need to be looked at? Uh, I, I guess the waste removal has gone up. <coughs> and are we expecting more waste? Is that. Overall, this overall budget. Compared to uh, what was actually spent and what we budgeted last year, we budgeted less money this year. So most of the items that, that you look at, I've left the same amounts on those on those budgets. So we were a little bit less on waste removal last year for the actual, but there's other going to possibly be other waste removal that needs to take place this year with the new nursing home coming online. I'm not sure how that's going to work out yet either. Shouldn't have any effect. It should be pretty neutral. It should be the same. Same number of bottoms. Yep. Okay. Others? If not, we'll uh, 